friends, we are ready for another adventure. Today we are going outside. Yes, we will be dirty, sweaty, and rainy, probably a little wet, but we're going to learn a lot today. We are going to Spruce Run to meet Ohio School of Falconry. We'll see different birds, and we're going to take a hike in the woods. So you want to pay attention to our video today. So we're going to be doing a lot of outdoor learning and fun. Are you guys ready to go outdoors? Yeah! All right, so fourth and fifth grade, you can board the bus. We're about to get ready to head out. Fourth and fifth grade, let's roll. All right, third grade, let's rock and roll. Third grade, let's go. We're moving out fast today. We have a long journey to Galena, so we want to make sure we get there on time. Guess what? What, girlfriend? I got friend? to pick to put the falcon in my arm. Ooh, are you scared, girl? Who the yeah. bird gonna peck you? Miss Gamble. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I'm, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. All right, you guys, board the bus. Board the bus. All right, second grade, meet Miss Clark at the door. Second grade, meet Miss Clark at the door. Let's rock and roll, second grade. Make sure you watch it when you drive. Mr. Smith, there's a fourth and fifth grader forgot their book bag and a third grader. They need their book bags. Tell them to come back and get their bags. All right, third, for second grade, let's rock and roll. There's uh, Ricardo, you forgot your bag, sweetheart. So we are headed out today. So as you guys can see, we are wasting no time today leaving. We have to go up to Galena, Ohio, and it takes about 20, 20 to 25 minutes to get there. So we don't want to miss out on any of our learning time. So I'm asking them to move quickly to get on the bus. All right. So you guys are going to learn a lot today with us. Um, if you stick with us, we have the Ohio School of Falconry coming and he's going to bring some falcons and some hawks and we're going to learn about birds. Then we're going to do some bird watching. Each student has a pair of binoculars that they're going to use the bird watch. They're going to draw. We're going to do an ABC scavenger hunt. Just a whole bunch of fun stuff. So stay tuned. All right. First grade. First grade. Meet Miss Nikki at the door. First grade. Meet Miss Nikki at the door. Do not leave out. Just wait for Miss Nikki at the door. Your bag? Is it back there? Yeah, it was fine. Um, I don't. Does she have it in her bag? Okay. It was right there. Maybe Mr. Smith grabbed it. He grabbed some bags. All right, kindergarten friends, let's rock and roll. Does everyone have their binoculars? Dion, do you have your binoculars? You do? All right, he's giving me a thumbs up. <laughs> you have yours? Oh, look at kindergarten with their binoculars. Oh, I have plenty of binoculars right up there. Yep, he's going to, he, you know he's going to want a pair. <laughs> All right, keep following and watching and enjoy the fun. All right, so we are headed out. We are headed out. We have one, two, three, four buses. We are ready to head up to Galena to enjoy ourselves at Spruce Run. Yes, we're yeah, we're going to Spruce Run. Yeah. I don't know what they've done in there, but they've done something. Yeah. They just reopened it up to the public. Yeah. Up there. We cannot wait to get up there. We're gonna start a fire. Yeah, I can't wait. You wear them out. Like three miles or something. Yeah, we're gonna hike for about three miles and we'll do some bird watching. We have our binoculars and all of that. Okay. <laughs> all right. So we are so excited. I know I'm excited. I don't know if you guys are watching are as excited as me. Hi, Miss Fullerton. All right, we're getting on the bus. Let's see if they are ready. Hi. This is our nice bus driver. He's always driving us. He's so sweet. He's always with us. Mr. Smith. What up, people? Good morning. What up? What up? Third grade, are you ready? Yeah. All right. 
what do we need to do with our feet and legs and all? Yeah, thank you, friends. Let's rock and roll. Elijah, are you looking at me through the binoculars? Yes. Are you ready to use those today? Yes. All right. I'm you guys are so it. excited about your binoculars. I'm excited I went today. To, I went to anyone's birthday party. You went to a birthday party? Yeah. Oh, that was fun. All right. Yes, yes, Xavier. I'm ready to get a bird on my arm. You ready to get a bird on your arm? Are you getting the bird on your arm? Are you afraid? Nope. Oh, Mr. Smith, Xavier said he's not afraid. Oh. <laughs> nope. All right. So guess what? Keep watching. And oh, these are all of our snacks. So we're going to roast marshmallows and hot dogs and have chips and drinks and all of that good stuff. So very good day today. Almost like camping, but downsized camping. So like a mini camping trip. Stay tuned. Here you go. Come on. All right. So we made it, guys. Woo! We're here. So if you see out here, you can see. Um, and we're going to take our food off of the bus. Take it over there to the Spruce Run Training Center. Yep, keep straight, Elijah. Thank you, sweetheart. Miss Campbell will be over there shortly. We're headed over there. Oh, Mr. Smith, we're fine. They, they can go ahead. We'll get it. Yeah, we'll get it. Thank you, friends. Thank you, friends. All right, Mr. Smith, thank you. I just wanted to put the hot dogs in the chiller. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So we're going to get some of the things off the bus here. We have our chips and hot dog buns and all of that. So, oh, let's see. There's Miss Burnett. Hi, Miss Burnett. Hi. We're so excited to see you. Hi. Oh, there is Kim's um, son. Hi. How are you? So you guys know we're vlogging still. So Miss Burnett, you'll be on TV. Make sure you get so, a shot where I look. Oh, you, you know, we're, we're um, about to grab the food. Um, and could you help us? Yeah. We have some stuff on the bus to get off. Um, some buns and you know, things like that. Oh, oh, thank you, sir. Are we wearing it off. masks at all? Or no. No. Okay, just no we're fine. Yeah. If you if you're uncomfortable, no, you can I'm put not. you can put all. your mask Although on. the rise is bad. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. So the kids are so excited. Oh, it's so beautiful out here. You know, CCS has done a lot to manicure this area. It looks so nicely maintained out here. It's nice. So I am super excited about today. I know I've said that 10 million times, but you're going to hear me say it over and over again because I am excited. I always love to do something different and try new things. And I see, I think, I wonder, yes! So the children, they have their binoculars. They're already using their binoculars. So we have here only one. Oh, that's nice. I love it. Hi, sweetheart. All right, so I'm going in here. Hi, is this Mr. Joseph? And Miss Campbell. How are you? Good, good. You Hi, got he's birds, and I'm on TV. You are, so. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. <laughs> this I is hope me. I wore the right shirt. You did. You look good. You look good. <laughs> so um, we're excited about our show today. We're ready. We have our ten students. That sounds great. We are set up back over here under the tent. So we uh, we decided to prepare in case there was rain. So okay. We have that right there, and then we're going to have that Look at you with the plan B being proactive, uh, habit well, number you know, one. When you, when you work with birds, you have to get that way. So. Oh, wow. I love it. So we're waiting for two more buses. Okay. And um, at that time, we will get started. Sounds great. I'll be back down here. All right. So, guys, keep watching. We're going to come back on here. Stay All tuned. All right. So we're about to get started. Hi, guys. I'm Mr. Joe. Hi. You know, I only invite you to get really loud during this presentation once. I'm gonna try again, you ready? Hi, I'm Mr. Joe. Hi! That is a welcome. I've got some birds I'm gonna share with you today. And before we start pulling the birds out, I wanna welcome you to Spruce Run. Sounds like you guys are gonna have a really exciting fun day. And I know I'm between you and lunch. And if you're a guy like me, you know, you kinda go, where's lunch? So, um, we're gonna make sure that we pull the birds out. 
Now, a couple of things that Ms. Campbell actually talked to you about, I'm gonna just reiterate. So, there's a couple of rules that we wanna make sure when we have birds out or wild animals out that we always keep in mind. What do you think some of them are? What's a good idea? Yeah. Don't be loud. So, yeah. Some of these birds actually have incredibly sensitive hearing. In fact, some of these birds, I have two owls I'm gonna share with you today, and they can actually hear a mouse scurry from a third of a mile away. Wow. That's a long way away. That's like from here to the front of where you turned into the property. Remember you came down that long gravel road? That's about a third of a mile. Yes? Can they hear you breathing? They can probably hear a lot of things. So yeah, I mean, they have great hearing. So when we, if we're too loud, and they're going to get really breathing. excited when we get birds out. And I, you know, I get excited when I see birds too. But you want to make sure that you be real quiet, okay? Real quiet. All right, uh, so what are some other good ideas of things? So don't scream, don't yell. Oh, I love it. Don't yell when you see the birds, absolutely. What about touching? Is that a good idea? No. 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 Now, as we come around, I'm gonna make sure that I bring the birds around for you to see and try to see up closely. And you'll see me touching the birds all over the place because I do that because I desensitize them to me. They don't know you, so they might get scared. And so we always ask that you try not to touch the bird at all, okay? So keep the sound to a minimum. Um, uh, if you have questions, do not be offended if as I'm teaching you a bit, I say, hang on just one second, my friends, uh, and we'll get that question in a little bit, okay? Because uh, I want to make sure that we can get all the different pieces, parts, um, in about uh, the different birds we're sharing with you today. Now, here's one thing. I'm going to be asking you to use your best observational eyes. So as I pull out all these different birds, they're going to look very, very different. So I'm going to be asking you questions like, what do you notice about this bird comparison to this other bird? So make sure that as I pull a bird out, that you're watching and looking. Look at how big the bird is. Look at its feet. Look at its beak. Look at its eyes. Look at its wings and the shape of its wings. Look at the coloration that the bird has. All of that is important because you know, when we talk about nature, there are no bad designs in nature. Every single one of these birds is beautifully developed and designed to fill a niche in nature. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the first bird, but guess what? We actually have some different themes. So we're gonna give you guys some opportunities to help uh, identify which birds we pull out first. So I have, the themes I have are big, bigger, misunderstood, fast, who and smart Ooh. Okay, now we'll save smart for last because that's the bird that we're going to fly to people so uh big bigger misunderstood um fast and who which one do you want to see first oh. Got it. oh there you go you want to see who okay by show of hands how many want to see who first i think that's everybody okay i'm going to pull out a bird now we have two owls that we're going to share with you today Okay, now this is a type of owl that can be found all around the world except for the Antarctic. You guys know where the Antarctic is? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so it's very cold down there. I say that this bird is uh, in pretty incredibly designed because, and I'll show you when we pull it out. It's, it's an owl that you would not necessarily find in Harry Potter. That's the easiest way for me to describe it because a lot of people know Harry Potter and all the different owls. So let me go ahead and pull out who? His name is Dr. Who. She gave us a great field trip two years ago. Are you guys ready? Silent cheaters. This is Doctor Who. Wow. Doctor Who. Now he is. What kind of owl do you think he is? A barn owl. A barn owl. Very good. What gave away the barn owl? Uh, the, the heart on the face. The heart-shaped face. Now, do you guys know there are two different families of owls? 
There are the barn owls, and then there's everything else, which is referred to as the typical owls. I kind of think that the guy who was doing all of the categorizing just got tired after categorizing the barn owls and said, you know what, we're just going to call the rest of them typical. That's a joke that thank you for not laughing. There's going to be a lot of bad dad jokes today. I'm going to warn you that right now. Okay? Yes? Did you have a question? Yes, we're going to talk about that in just a second. I, and I see you're waving to them. Hang on just one second because I want to cover some things. Now, when we talk about that heart-shaped face, all owls, both the barn owls and the typical owls, have a facial disc. It almost looks like a satellite dish on their face. Yeah. Now, you can't always see them as clearly as you can on a barn owl like this because a lot of times they have a lot of what they call covering feathers or coverlets. And what do you think that satellite dish on their face does for them? I heard somebody just say something. Helps them to hear. So when you look at this bird, what do you notice about it besides that big facial disc? What do you notice? What's that? The dots. Where are the dots at? Right there, right? On the chest. So there is a theory that when a barn owl is flying over a field and a mouse looks up and sees those little dots, it thinks that they're stars. So that's a form of camouflage. The idea is, is that it camouflages itself from what it's trying to hunt. Now what colors do we usually think of when we think of camouflage? What colors? Look at every Greens jacket. and what else? Browns. Okay. Dirty browns and dirty Dirty browns and dirty greens. Because we usually think that camouflage hides things in trees and in um, you know uh, in the woods and stuff. But here's the interesting thing: camouflage can come in a wide range. We're going to show you a bird later that's camouflaged from both the prey and predators. Now, when you look at this owl, understand that owls are very different than any other type of raptor. So when you see he has two toes in front and two toes in back, you know who his closest relatives are in the bird world? Eagles. This is good. Not eagles. They're not related to eagles, believe it or not. They're related to hummingbirds and woodpeckers. What? Isn't that weird? They are, and he actually likes them too. He thinks they're delicious. <laughs> There's my first bad dad joke that worked. Hey. So, um, so when we talk about these owls, it's important to understand that eagles and hawks and falcons are totally different than owls. And so owls themselves actually hunt when for the most part? During the day or at night? At night. Now, here's an interesting thing, friends. Did you know that their eyes his eyes are actually very, very big, much bigger than they look like. So his eyes are actually eye tubes that go back into his head. Wow. Take your right hand and make a fist. Take your left hand and make a fist and put them right up next to your eyes. If you were an owl, this is how big your eye tubes would be. Mm. Wow. So in humans, our eyeballs make up 5% of the space in our skull. In owls, their eye tubes take up 80% of the space in their skull. Well, Nelly. It, it is. But what does it not leave a lot of space for? Brains. Brains. So when we say that owls are smart, it's not really true. Compared to other raptors, they are not that intelligent. But it doesn't matter because they're perfectly designed to actually fill that niche at night. I know. Just the poop. There'll be other opportunities with this, with all the birds. So. When we talk about, here's a, here's a fun fact. Did you know that um, owls and falcons poop straight down, but hawks and eagles poop up to seven to eight feet straight out? I know, and I've got, I've got three of them with me, so I'll make sure that you guys don't get pooped on. All right? Now, so they catch most of their uh, dinner by what? If they can't use their eyes, what do you think they use? Their ears, their hearing. But here's an interesting thing. Did you know that while we have our ear holes here and here, barn owls have their ear holes here and here. So in the back top of their head and right behind their jaw. And that's called asymmetrical ear holes. Asymmetrical means they're not across from each other. Symmetrical means they're in perfect alignment with each other. Asymmetrical means they're not. Now what's the benefit of having one ear up here and one ear back here? 
What do you think? Here, you awesome you, up and down. You, yeah. <laughs> you can hear up. things behind you and in front of you. Okay. And you said? Um, from above you and below you. Yeah, so all around. So I like how you said it, with front and behind and up and down, all over the place. It's more like stereo hearing. Mm -hmm. A lot of people think they go, oh, they're just like bats. Mm -hmm. They actually aren't. Bats actually emit a sound and the gauge distances from the sound coming back when it bounces off. Owls don't do that. They do make noise, but they don't actually do it to actually gauge where they're flying to. But their hearing is so good, like we said, they can hear a mouse move a mile or a third of a mile away, well enough to find it, okay? Now, can you guys say goodbye to Dr. Who? And he'll wave back to you. Okay, Very now, good. Now, Fun we're going to go ahead and pull out our next stay bird. Tuned now, as we we're going to stay on the theme of What's coming out next? Oh my goodness. Oh, what is that? Oh wow. Now this bird is a type of falcon. Now there is a type of falcon that actually, just go ahead and put your hands down and we'll get to the questions a little bit. Um, a lot of you have questions of what this Angry is. Angry birds. I'll tell you in just a little bit. So this is a jeer falcon. This is the world's largest species of falcon. And this is the actual type of falcon that in the middle ages was considered the most sought after bird in the world because everybody was flying and hunting with falcons back then. So they actually would use these birds uh, amongst the royalty. The jeer falcons were only allowed to be flown by kings and emperors. In fact, there was actually one, oh, be very quiet. You don't want to use that high pitch because that actually can hurt the birds here. Thank you, friend. So when we're talking about the jeer falcon, it's important to understand that it oftentimes was used as a form of currency. In fact, there was one time where there was uh, a family member, a royal family member, who was actually kidnapped by another uh, royal uh, family, another country. And so the ransom, uh, the father of the kid that was, that was kidnapped, said, I'll give you 50,000 pieces of gold for, to get my son back. And the person, the king that you know, kidnapped him said, no, I want 12 white jeer falcons. And you know what the dad said? That's way too expensive. Deal's off. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? That is crazy. I, I, he ended up paying the ransom. But yeah, his first thing was, I'm not paying 12 jeer falcons. Because you know, today, even the princes and the royal family in Saudi Arabia will buy up to 200, 300 white jeer falcons. It costs about $50,000 a piece. I had no idea. Yep. And so they will buy tons of them. And so there are three different color phases of jeer falcons. This is a gray uh, phase. There's also a silver phase and a white phase. This is my favorite. Her name is Cruella. Oh, Cruella the movie. Cruella did Now, I didn't name her Cruella. She came with that name. But she's pretty famous in falconry because she took third place in the National Lure Flying Championships two years ago, right before I bought her. Now, this thing up here is called a hood. Mm -hmm. Now, falcons are very, very, very high strung. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had a time where you just had so much nervous energy you couldn't sit down and you know you were just, just wanted to get up and do yes. things, right? Mm -hmm. That happens when you're kids because everything's so exciting. Well, falcons are always like that. They always have that high energy and they can't sit still. So they are always, always, always worried about where's my next food coming from or what might try to eat me. Mm -hmm. So when you put a hood on their head, they kind of relax because they have incredible eyesight. And so they're always looking for things that might try to eat them. Now, their eyesight is so good. I used to say it this one way until I had this six-year-old kid in Upper Arlington. I had 45 six-year-old kids that I was doing a class for. And I used to say, uh, talk about their eyesight this one way until the six-year-old kid made all the other six-year-old kids laugh at me. So promise me you're not going to laugh at me when I tell you, okay? Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, I'm going to hold you to that because it's pretty funny what the kids said. Okay. So I said, I said, birds of prey, especially falcons, have incredible eyesight. They could read a newspaper from a mile away. And the six-year-old kid raised his hand 
And I said, yes, Jim. And he goes, that's amazing. I said, yeah, right. They have great eyesight. He goes, I didn't know they could read. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. For, see, all the adults are laughing at me. Thank you guys for not. Oh, and see, you're laughing at me, too. That's okay. Yeah, that's all right. So they have incredible eyesight. They can see you. Have you ever seen a bird that looks like a tiny speck of pepper up in the sky? Yes. It actually can see you as if it's standing right in front of you. That's what? how good their eyesight is. Now, I'm going to go take off to his hood, my friend. And you tell me what you notice different about Cruella's eyes from the last two birds, which were both owls. Okay, put your hand down, friend. We'll see when we pull this off. Oh, so remember to use your best observational eyes. Binoculars. Yeah. Yep, go ahead and use your binoculars if you need. And look at Cruella's eyes. Look at where they're located on her head. They are big eyes, aren't they? Yeah. They are very big. All right, now, tell me, what do you notice different about Cruella's eyes from the last two owl's eyes? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yep, yep, yep. But that first one is the key one that I wanted you to identify, and you did a really good job on that. Thank you, friend. So, um, when we talk about their eyes, it's important to understand that owls have the eyes right in front of their faces because owls are what they call a perch and search hunter. That means they sit in one place and they wait for something to come in and they fly down and grab it. Falcons are pursuit hunters, meaning that they chase whatever it is that they catch. So they're constantly chasing things. Now, remember I talked about a little bit earlier about what her main concern is. When she's chasing something to eat it, what could be happening to her? Oh, say that again, Lava. Someone could be chasing her. Mm -hmm. Somebody could be chasing her. So if you were chasing something, you'd want to have eyes as close to in the back of your head as well so you could see what might be trying to catch you. She's pretty big. That's called a rouse. She's pretty big, but uh, there's bald eagles that could catch her and eat her very easily around here. So she has the eyes on the side of her head so she can see both ahead and behind. Now, with owls, they have those eyes in the front of their head. Now, they, um, birds cannot turn eyeballs independently in their eye sockets like we can, and most mammals can. Birds stuck looking straight ahead. So, a lot of people think that owls can actually turn their head all the way around. Can you do that? No. Turn your head all the way to the left, and turn your head all the way to the right. We can do 180 degrees. A circle is 360 degrees. Owls can actually turn their heads 270 degrees. If you were an owl and you were looking straight ahead, you could turn your head all the way around and look out over your right shoulder. Oh, wow. They have to be able to do that because they have to be able to see what's coming up behind them. So, now, what else do you notice about this bird? Yes. Absolutely. A different color pattern. Yes, what else do you notice? And they notice their talons are different. They are. So how many toes are up front on this bird? Three. So that's one of the reasons that we know that owls are different than hawks and falcons and eagles. Because hawks and falcons and eagles have three toes in front and one in back. That is called a nisodactyl. Can you say that? Nisodactyl. Now, right, owls watching, have two toes in front and two toes in back, and that's called zygodactyl. Can you say that? Zygodactyl. Zygodactyl. Now, here's another interesting thing. Hawks and eagles and owls also have a pouch in their throat called a crop. <coughs> Imagine if you were eating dinner, and before you swallowed it into your stomach, it had to go in this pouch in your throat, Ugh. and it would just sit there and fill up. <laughs> that would look kind of weird, wouldn't it? Yeah. Owls don't have that, but hawks and eagles and falcons do. That's because their closest modern relative is a chicken, believe it or not. Would that be an uncomfortable family reunion to go to? Right? Yes. Number two, bad dad joke that I got to laugh at. All right. Now, I'm going to show you her wings, and I want you to tell me what you notice different about her wings from... Henson, the big owl. Okay, you ready? Oh, put your hand down yet. You haven't seen it yet. Okay. 
Okay, ready? Use your best observational eyes. I keep forgetting you guys are over here. I apologize. You ready? Okay. Look at her wings. Oh my. Now, are these wings bigger or smaller than Hensel's? Smaller. They're smaller, right? And she's a good sized yeah. bird. Now, what shape? Henson's was really broad and deep. Mm -hmm. What shape are these, do you think, when you look at these? Yeah, 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 so they're longer, but they almost look like, we call it a sickle shape, so it goes like this and down. Mm -hmm. These birds are built for speed. So their cousins, the peregrine falcon, oh, this is going to be neat. She is actually casting up a pellet. Oh, there you go. Ready? Don't get That's grossed cool. out. This is all the undigested food. Oh, no, uh, hang on a second. Oh, I know, I know. Wow. Uh, with owls, In the uh, owls have a very weak digestive <laughs> system, so they actually <laughs> digest both. So you get the whole skeleton. These guys, they digest everything. Yeah. So uh, Except hair and feathers. Now, imagine if you had a crop and you had to fill it full of food before you swallowed it down to your stomach. Guess what? There's a lot of terms modern English that we use in modern English that come from ancient falconry, thanks to a guy named Shakespeare who liked to write plays. So when you get a full crop, it's called being fed up. <laughs> and another term, when you have their jess is under my thumb. And this is called wrapped around my little finger. And this is called all tied up. Walking the line, off the hook, showing your hand, old codger, old hag, chaperone, caddy, um, gentlemen, the mantle over your fireplace. Um, all of these terms come from ancient falconry, and they all mean different things, but we use them in modern English thanks to a guy named Shakespeare, who was a big falconer. Yes, one more question before I put her away. What does she usually hunt? Well, falcons, almost 90% of what falcons eat are actually other birds. So she eats ducks and geese. You know those big, giant Canadian geese? She can actually kill them and eat them. I know. They, they're, they're not afraid of us. You get her anywhere nearby and they go run it. No, you don't. Not those big ones. Those big Canadian geese will hiss at you and chase you. I pull her out and they go, oh, hey, I was just kidding. <laughs> Mr. So, Joseph, where yes. can we find falcons? Mm, uh, what so region? That's a great question. Now, here's an interesting thing. There are birds of prey all over the place. No matter where you live, you have a bird of prey living in your neighborhood. So we have falcons here in Ohio. We have three types of falcons. We have a tiny little uh, falcon called the uh, a kestrel. It is about the same size as a robin. And you'll find them living uh, anywhere that there's a grassy area. Uh, they're tiny and they're very colorful. Uh, we also have peregrine falcons, which are their cousins, almost as big as them. And those are the fastest of all animal on the planet. They've been recorded stooping at speeds over 270 miles an hour. Wow. So they live in downtown Columbus. And some live up near the OSU airport. Now. This bird is actually also native to North America, but it's only found up near the Arctic. And so uh, sometimes they'll migrate down into Canada. And this year we actually had one that was up near Ashtabula. It actually crossed the lake. So it's all pretty cool. Yes, one last question. I can't hear you, buddy. Well, okay, well, um, yeah, ask one question, then we'll get to our next bird. Okay. Oh, you watch videos about it? Oh, you watch videos about it? Yeah. That's great. They're eating pigeons? They do like pigeons, yeah. Peregrine falcons eat a lot of pigeons. All right, can you say goodbye to Cruella? Bye! Say goodbye to you. There she goes. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you the information very quiet. Pudding. Buzzer. Look at that. Oh, wow. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Now, how did you guys do describing her? Beautiful. She's beautiful. Did she have a red head? No. Does she have all black feathers? No. Nope. Does she have, um, is she ugly? No. No. Now here's an interesting thing, friends. Did you know that only here in the United States do we incorrectly refer to turkey vultures 
as buzzards. Turkey vultures and black oh, buzzards or black vultures vulture. are not buzzards. They are vultures. They're pretty incredible too. So the turkey vulture and the black vulture are the two uh, types of vultures you'll find in Ohio. And they, they, they play a very important role because what do they do? See how mm -hmm. she pooped farther? So she's not our record holder, the next bird is. She poops eight feet. So, so when you look at this bird, this bird is very, very similar. The buzzards are also known as buteos. And here in Ohio, we have a hawk that is actually referred to as, uh, this is called the red-tailed hawk of Africa. This is an African auger buzzard. And so the red-tailed hawk here in the, the United, United States wrong. is actually, every place else <laughs> in the world is called a red-tailed buzzard. Because the buteos, red-tailed hawks, red-shouldered hawks, uh, broad-wing hawks, all here in Ohio are actually a type of buzzard. So we're the only ones in the United States that incorrectly refer to vultures of all types, except the condors usually, as buzzards. Now when you look at her, this is the bird that we were talking about a little earlier where we said that she had camouflage front and back. So she actually hunts from a soar. She will fly 300 feet over the ground and she's looking for little rabbits and you know, what they call hares, which is a kind of big rabbit, in Africa, in the southern part of Africa. Now when she's flying and a rabbit's down there and the rabbit looks up, a rabbit sees this. So you see, even under her wings, it's all white. What do you think that rabbit thinks when it looks up and sees that? It's a sky. What is it in the sky? Cloud. A cloud. So that rabbit's looking up going, oh my goodness, there's a fun cloud. And then that cloud comes down and kills and eats it. It doesn't give a very good uh, name for clouds, does it? Aggressive clouds. Have you ever had a cloud that chased you and caught you and ate you? No. That's a dad joke, yes. Thank you for laughing. Now they're calling out my dad jokes. I like that. Keep score. So far I've gotten a lap on at least three of them and then one not so much. All right, hang on just one second. Now, um, when this bird is flying at 300 feet, they have these other um, types of birds of prey in, in, um, in Africa called the African crowned eagle. It's very, very big. And it hunts these types of birds. And it flies at over 1,000 feet. Now when it's flying 1,000 feet up in the air and it looks down, it sees this. Now, what are the colors you see on her back and her tail? Brown and black. Brown and black and some grays. So what do you think that African crowned eagle is seeing when it looks down and sees this bird's back? I'll share that with you in just a second, honey. Okay, that's a good question. Um, so what do you think that that eagle is seeing? The ground, absolutely. So this bird has camouflage, very different from when we think of greens and browns and things like that. This bird is camouflaged from both the predator above and the prey below, which is pretty amazing if you think about it. Now you had a great question. Say it really loud and proud. Um, how did you get all these birds? It's a great question. So how did I get all of these birds? So the school itself, what we do is on the weekends, people can come in and learn about the sport of falconry. And then at the end of our class, we throw birds up in the trees and we go for a 40 minute walk in the woods and the birds will follow along and they shoot down and land on your glove, which is pretty cool. So all of our birds actually have to be captive bred. So these birds were all bred by different people across the United States. So these birds here, so this buzzard, um, her name is Savannah. Um, and she was actually bred by a group called SIA, S-I-A, Incorporated, and that's actually the Comanche Indian Nation, and they're out in Oklahoma. They're the largest breeder of exotic birds of prey anywhere in the world. They breed 23 different species of eagle from around the world, and they breed all sorts of birds like this. So that's a great question. But all of our birds are captive bred. So they're all, it's kind of like your dog and cat, right? They're all bred in, in, in captivity. So, yes? So a chicken hawk would be, um, that's a uh, nickname for a red-tailed hawk. So yeah, so if you hear duck hawk, that is uh, a nickname for uh, a, a peregrine falcon. 
If you hear sparrow hawk, that's a nickname for a kestrel. So one final question or comment, then we'll put Jerome and get our next bird. Well, I, I, I wanted to ask, mm -hmm. how, um, what bird is the flu what is the bird that flew higher than any other bird? Probably one of the, con well, if you say overall birds, it would probably be, oh, the albatrosses get really high up. Um, if you're talking about a raptor, it would be the eagles. The eagle, eagles go really, really, really high. Thousands and thousands and thousands of feet up. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and put him away, can you, or her away. Can you uh, wave goodbye? To all right, right so right students are getting ready okay, to have the birds land on them. So, they were getting excited about this. I'll come around here since they're facing that way. All right, so these are the selected students who will have the birds land on them. Okay, so here's what we're going to be doing. Okay, so here's what we're going to be doing. Okay, Fred, we need to have you guys quiet so that everybody up here can hear. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is you're going to have a hawk flying to you. Okay? Now, the way you're going to do it is, is when I tell you to, I'm going to have you raise your glove up just like this. So take, start down here and make a fist down here. And then when I tell you to, I'll wait till you have your glove on. Okay, you got your glove on there, bud? Okay, put your hand down here and make a fist. Just like this. Okay, now when I tell you to, the birds, let's say this young lady over here is my hawk. What's your name? Miss Campbell. Miss Campbell. Miss Campbell the hawk. Miss <laughs> Campbell the hawk. So, Miss Campbell the hawk, she's my hawk I'm flying today. She's going to stand right over here. Now, this is going to be you standing here. You always have your left shoulder. <laughs> now, you're not, she's not going to come normally until I have the, the glove on. So, uh, uh, but she's sitting on her perch, right? And so what you're going to do is you're going to make a fist down by your side. And then when I tell you, don't raise your glove before I tell you to. But when I tell you to, you're going to lift your glove straight up like this. Okay, go ahead and lift your glove straight up. I'm going to walk around and make sure you got that, That's really good. Now, you need on your other hand, honey. That's a, your right hand. So, straight up Where did Miss Barnett go? That's really good. Good. Right. Miss Barnett. Perfect. Good. Good. And you need to have it just like that. And then just like this. And then just like this. Really good. Now, here's the thing. Okay, so friends, when the bird is flying to you, make sure that you, when it lands on you, on your glove, do not try to touch it, okay? Please don't try to touch it. Because if you bring your hand up, the bird might get afraid of you. So what's going to happen when the bird flies in is, I'll help to support your hand when it flies in. So if you get nervous, the one thing you don't want to do is go like this. Okay, sometimes people get nervous as the bird flies in, they go like this. Where do you think the bird is going to land if you go like this and it doesn't have a perch land? Probably right up here. Yeah. So just so it doesn't land on your head, I'm going to hold up your hand to make sure that if you do go like this, I'll still have the perch for you. This bird will not hurt you at all. Her name is Sedosa. And Sedosa is going to tons and tons and That's tons different. of people. So here's my Miss Campbell hawk. When I have you raise your glove like this, a hawk will fly in. Just like that beautiful flight, and you land right on that glove. Let's hear it for our hawk. Wonderfully done. I think, yeah, I think you have a future in the hawk Beautiful performance. performance. Hawk performance. You did it very, very well. And you did it with a style I had not seen for another hawk. I, I think it was amazing that you used your wings to land with. She's one of they're a both, kind. They're both wings and feet. That's interpretive dance is what that is. I like that. I like that. Did it with a perfect style. Okay. Oh, my goodness. So, friends, I'm sitting we're going to go ahead and go out and be quiet. Eating. Now, if we get everybody to quiet just a second, I assume you guys are going to want to watch. But you want to make sure that you don't get too close to where the bird's flying back and forth. Okay? So we'll go out there, and what we'll do is I'll set everybody up, and then I'll pull the bird out, and we'll start our flights. Okay? So let's go over this way. We'll come on out here. On the other side of the car is where we're going to be set up. And I think you will need one of these. Yeah, I'm going to record until everyone's done. I'll do it last. It's your lunch lady glove. It's my lunch lady, lady, glove. lunch lady glove. I used to buy those real expensive medical ones. 
And then I couldn't find him. No you need. Can find lunch lady gloves. That's right. Uh oh. <laughs> Take you out. We need you for two more much weeks. Than the <laughs> Those are all the birds. Okay, cool. oh, no, we're going over here. They're about to have the birds land on them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't either. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> I was like, I want to be brave. All right. Now, which? Uh, how do you raise your arm when I tell you to? Straight up out in front of you, just like that. Just like that. Moving over there? Okay. All right. Now, if we want to, did we want everybody else to come over or do they want yeah. to stay over there? Um, you guys can come over using your walking feet and stand on the um, I, 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 outer edge. Over here. Yeah, over here. Stand over there on the outer edge near the trees, please. All right, so we shot with kindergarten first? Yeah, yeah kindergarten. I'm talking about you don't have anything to worry about. Um, I don't know. I'm following his Maybe lead. Maybe the older kids. Maybe the older kids. Maybe the older kids show their bravery first. Roger. Uh, Isis, are you afraid? Get, and get it ready <laughs> and get the food. Now, if you want to do video, yeah. iPhone, exact same one I have. So set it to uh, slow mo. Slow mo. And then what happens is as the birds fly, you go first. Okay. Okay. You just stand right behind us. Okay. And it's really cool because the bird flies in and lands. Okay. <laughs> There's the glove man.
look at your bird and then lift your gloves straight up and out. Oh, land very nice. gently on your gloves. Sweet. A little higher up. Smile for your paparazzi. If you want to switch over to uh, photo. Hold your arm up like that. Smile for your paparazzi. Don't be afraid. Don't be. Put your hand down, buddy. Put your hand down. You're brave. Right, now, good You're smile brave. over this way. Right? Make your fist.
gonna hold your glove up just like this. Smile for your paparazzi. Face that way. You go, you're so brave. Here's how we'll do this just make a fist. Okay, and we'll go like this. You ready? Oh, she's... Yeah. Do they? 
Okay, now keep your arm up and smile for your paparazzi. Straight up. So I'm gonna let you in. Ready? Look down by your side, make your feet. Hold that up. Now smile for Nicely done. Now hold you ready? I'm ready.
Yeah. Well, if you're a paparazzi, keep your arm up. We're about to rock and roll and go on a hike. Are you ready to go on a hike? Yeah. Are you ready to go on a hike? Yeah. Tell them to be quiet. Yeah. Alright, yeah. we're leaving. Alright, here we go. 20 now, minute you hike. Out, you have to be real quiet. You gotta be quiet if you want to see animals. All right, boo. All right, this is the prairie. So we're headed to the prairie. Why are third graders going that way? Why is Mr. Smith? Mr. Smith, come on. So that's where we will be sitting when we um, roast our marshmallows and our hot dogs. Hi, Miss Hi. So they're doing an ABC scavenger hunt. So when they see different items, they draw the picture in the square. I just found a leaf that a caterpillar might have been eating. Oh, wow. So that will go in the L square. A leaf. Draw a picture of that in your L square. Okay. ABC nature walk. We see grass. That will go under G. supposed to draw it and write it. Play for me. I see a butterfly. Look at those branches up there. Wow. It's cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see the butterfly? Ooh, be careful, be careful. Hold. Hold, be careful. I'll stand here. Go that way around. I can roll the fuck. Hey, 
Is that a snake? Oh no. A frog? Where? You see the frog? Let me in there. Where is it? Oh. Where did it go? Yeah, I see that. Where? I saw one jumping the pond. Hold on. Where, I see where? the water. I can't see it. You see it? Oh, I don't see it. If you're watching and you saw it, point it out. Come here. I was looking for you. this. Where? Everett, move to the side. Move to the side. Everyone move to the side. Mr. Joseph is leaving the nature center. Bye, Mr. Joseph. Thank you. I appreciate you. Yep, draw some rocks. We see rocks, gravel, boulders, leaves, tire tracks, mud, tree trunks. We see a lot of things. Sticks. Oh, I see frogs. Sticks, frogs, water. Deers. We have to We have to be quiet so we can see the deer. You see a deer bed? That's a deer bed? Deer's way down? I think deers go like around it or something. I did. Wait for you. Come on. You like deers? Yeah, I like deers. Not bears. Deers look ugly. Deers look ugly. I don't like deers. Are we in the real forest? Yeah. yeah. Just like Hansel and Gretel. Yeah, be careful. Be careful. There's branches on the pathway. Don't want anyone to trip. Right there. A stick. You find a worm? Yeah, a worm. It's doing a dance. Okay, so draw the worm on your nature walk. I lost my paper. Oh, so really you gonna pick it up? Ew, put it down. We found a worm. <laughs> oh, I put it down. So really. uh, why would she pick it up and then drop it and scream? <laughs> wow. I didn't write anything. What? Yeah. A who? How much time we got? 15 minutes. Don't forget to look up. Oh. Yes. Don't forget to look up. That's a good message. Look, I found something. Very good. Look. This is our black oak trees. Do you see acorns on the ground? That can go under what letter? Acorns. Remember trunks and branches? Yep, acorn. Be careful walking. Ooh, this is caught. Be careful, it's a little slippery because it's muddy.
Oh, you'll be fine. It's scary when Bobby's gonna jump at me. No one's gonna jump out. I'm just scared. Look, look at all that. I'm just scared that winter will be here. It smells like deer poop. Deer poop? How do you know what deer poop smells like? That might be deer, deer poop. Oh, I don't know. Uh -oh. So this is what we're walking down. It's pretty steep. Oh, look at that down there, guys. Don't forget to look up. Yeah. Be careful, it's slippery because it rained. Be careful. Yeah. What if it rains again? That's why we'll be just out here in the rain, dancing in the rain. I'm going with <laughs> we will be dancing in the rain. Dancing in the rain. Days like this, I wish that rain just would fall. <laughs> Okay, we have to be quiet Shh, so we can hear the animals. Emily, are you ready? Do you see him? Do you see him, Emily? Hey, you got Dante? I have finally perfected the acorn. Okay. I finally perfected the acorn. Kair, I cannot believe you wore your forces out here. I know, these are old. Those are old forces? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Right, that's what I asked. Okay. Are you guys ready? We're about to cross the river. <laughs> Ooh, look at this. Beautiful, beautiful. Do you guys see any of the bugs or insects? Nope, not yet. <laughs> All right, so we're going back up the hill. Uh, Jackson, um, I'm not sure that was a good idea. If my mom is watching this, my shoes are very dirty now. We, when we get to the top, in the grass. Oh, oh, Joseph just took yeah. over the whole thing. <laughs> no, we're not going that way, guys. Come around. Metamorphic. So they'll just have to uh, get in some grass when they go up the hill. What is that to? Thread to what? That to your shoes? What is it? A frog? Oh, we caught a frog! Chris, Chris, put it down! Chris, put it down! Oh my goodness! You picked it up in your hand? Oh, No, it's not. There he is. Oh, no, 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 leave it alone, leave it alone, leave it alone. If you kiss it, will it turn into a prince? Yeah, it'll turn into you. Nah. <laughs> oh, all right, guys, it's time to go up the hill. Time to roast some marshmallows and hot dogs. Prince, Prince, we're done. Me, Miss Nikki, and Mr. Blue.
want to know what our I can take him up there. <laughs> <laughs> I got y'all. All right, so we're going up the hill. Students are picking up worms, frogs, toads, and all of the. Okay, no, 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 Prince, Prince, honey, sweetheart, we are done. Okay, he's one with nature. If you're watching, he's one with nature. Ooh, Jesus. All right, he's one with nature. Girl, I can't help you. I'm trying to help myself. I'm trying to stay up on one good leg. All this mud because it rained yesterday. Woo! Be careful, guys. It's very slippery. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Woo! I told you guys to wear old shoes. I got, I got the shoe two years ago. Yeah. She said it's a snake right behind you. <laughs> so those of you who are watching you probably are getting a good laugh from us yep put it down serenity put the worm down sweetheart put it down it was scary. Be careful. Don't slip. Be careful, guys. It's slippery. It is slippery. You're going all the way down there. Be careful. It's slippery over here. I don't like What's your name? What's your name? You'll be all right. Come on. What's your name? I have that, please. If you slip here, you're going all the way down there. Thank you. If you slip, you're going to get dirty. But what's the worst thing? You Remember to like, subscribe, and share. I know you guys are feeling our adventures. Top notch adventures. Like, subscribe, and share. <laughs> yes, I'm out of breath, girlfriend. Woo! Going up a hill, that's money. No joke. You're following Mrs. Barnett. Is this smell? So stinky. Wait, is that a berry? A wild berry? I see a wild berry. Where? Look like a grape. Wild grapes. Wild grapes? Oh, look at that. It's nice. What? Hi. You guys are roasting your marshmallows. Ooh, girl. <laughs> yeah, your marshmallow went back home. Yeah, that's the best way. Joseph, that's enough. It's burnt. Pull it out. Thank you. Heck yeah. Oh, be careful. No, you're fine. <laughs> be very careful guys when you turn around with these 
Yes, yes, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, they made it for us. I oh, know. I wanted us to see it, huh? They made it for us. Well, they use those logs there. You see them back there? They use those logs and some lighter fluid and they lit it. So they did it for us. Huh? Yeah, but we're not going to make fires, okay? Fire is not safe. Like yeah, I want mine. Good and burnt. This is the only way I eat it. I can't eat them though. I like s'mores better. Well, we got one right now. You're just a chocolate fan. Well, we have marshmallows. If you want to roast your marshmallows, they're over there. Oh, now we got marshmallows and hot dogs mixed together. Yeah, oh my <laughs> hot dog. You can have some marshmallow in the hot dog. Is that good stuff? I'm going to keep my eyes up here. I can burn it. Yep. My shirt is getting hot. Your shirt is getting hot. Hey, hey. And fired. Get your when you put it in the microwave. Oh, it's on fire. Whoa. Oh, God. When you put the marshmallow in the s'mores, I bet this is I bet this is sun fodder than this. Who called my name? I did. Who, you call my name? What do you want, Dion? You want marshmallow? You need a stick. Uh, marshmallow, marshmallow. Go take Kyrie's stick. You want me to help you? Get Kyrie's stick. Uh, you got it roasted. Yeah, yours is pretty roasted. <laughs> I don't think you can roast it any further, honey. This fire is burning. All right, we are leaving. We've cleaned up and we are out of here. Second grade on the bus. Miss Clark, second grade on the bus. Miss Clark, second grade on the bus.